1. E6010 welding rod. E6010 electrodes are characterized by a deeply penetrating, forceful, spray-type arc and readily removable, thin, friable slag which may not seem to completely cover the weld bead. Fillet welds usually have a relatively flat weld face and have a rather coarse, unevenly spaced ripple. The coverings are high in cellulose, usually exceeding 30% by weight. The other materials generally used in the covering include titanium dioxide, metallic deoxidizers such as ferromanganese, various types of magnesium or aluminum silicates, and liquid sodium silicate as a binder. Because of their covering composition, these electrodes are generally described as the high cellulose sodium type. These electrodes are recommended for all welding positions, particularly on multiple pass applications in the vertical and overhead welding positions and where welds of good soundness are required. They frequently are selected for joining pipe and generally are capable of welding in the vertical position with either uphill or downhill progression. The majority of applications for these electrodes is in joining carbon steel. However, they have been used to advantage on galvanized steel and on some low alloy steels. Typical applications include shipbuilding, buildings, bridges, storage tanks, piping, and pressure vessel fittings. E6011 Welding Rod E6011 electrodes are designed to be used with AC current and to duplicate the usability characteristics and mechanical properties of the E6010 classification. Although also usable with DCEP, electrode positive, a decrease in joint penetration will be noted when compared to the E6010 electrodes. Arc action, slag, and fillet weld appearance are similar to those of the E6010 electrodes. The coverings are also high in cellulose and are described as the high cellulose potassium type. In addition to the other ingredients normally found in E6010 coverings, small quantities of calcium and potassium compounds usually are present. E6012 Welding Rod E6012 electrodes are characterized by low penetrating arc and dense slag, which completely covers the bead. This may result in incomplete root penetration in fillet welded joints. The coverings are high in titania, usually exceeding 35% by weight, and usually are referred to as the titania, or rutile, type. The coverings generally also contain small amounts of cellulose and ferromanganese and various siliceous materials such as feldspar and clay with sodium silicate as a binder. Also, small amounts of certain calcium compounds may be used to produce satisfactory arc characteristics on DCEN, electrode negative. E6013 Welding Rod E6013 electrodes, although very similar to the E6012 electrodes, have distinct differences. Their flux covering makes slag removal easier and gives a smoother arc transfer than E6012 electrodes. The smaller diameters provide a less penetrating arc than is obtained with E6012 electrodes. This may result in incomplete penetration in fillet welded joints. Coverings of E6013 electrodes contain rutile, cellulose, ferromanganese, potassium silicate as a binder and other siliceous materials. The potassium compounds permit the electrodes to operate with AC at low amperages and low open circuit voltages. E6013 electrodes are similar to the E6012 electrodes in usability characteristics and bead appearance. The arc action tends to be quieter and the bead surface is smoother with a finer ripple. E7015 Welding Rod E7015 electrodes are low hydrogen electrodes to be used with DCEP, electrode positive. The slag is chemically basic. These electrodes are commonly used for making small welds on thick base metal, since the welds are less susceptible to cracking. They are also used for welding high sulfur and enameling steels. Welds made with E7015 electrodes on high sulfur steels may produce a very tight slag and a very rough or irregular bead appearance in comparison to welds with the same electrodes in steels of normal sulfur content. The arc of E7015 electrodes is moderately penetrating. The slag is heavy, friable, and easy to remove. The weld face is convex, although a fillet weld face may be flat. E7018 Welding Rod E7018 electrode coverings are similar to E7015 coverings, except for the addition of a relatively high percentage of iron powder. The coverings on these electrodes are slightly thicker than those of the E7016 electrodes. E7018 low hydrogen electrodes can be used with either AC or DCEP. 
they are designed for the same applications as the E7016 electrodes. As is common with all low hydrogen electrodes, a short arc length should be maintained at all times. In addition to their use on carbon steel, the E7018 electrodes are also used for joints involving high strength, high carbon, or low alloy steels. The fillet welds made in the horizontal and flat welding positions have a slightly convex weld face, with a smooth and finely rippled surface. The electrodes are characterized by a smooth, quiet arc, very low spatter, and medium arc penetration. E7018 electrodes can be used at high traffic.